I think that most people who voted out, and when I voted out, I knew it meant customs union out yep. and single market out because it quite clearly said so. I think all the people that voted for that have all been let down, and I think we all knew that this would happen. Unlike most politicians, with the exception of yourself, they haven't got the now to realise that the majority of people out there voting them in are more or less far more intelligent than they are. And I am absolutely furious that this has happened, but I knew it was going to happen. And the consequence of this means that, you know, I will never, ever vote again, because... So, this is, see, so for you, this is, for you, this represents a real letdown for you of the whole democratic process, yeah? Absolutely. And what I'm really cross about is the fact that they used the fact that the economy will suffer. Well, I didn't vote for Brexit because of the economy. I voted for Brexit purely on a personal um, ambition to try and get control of our borders, some sort of normality back. OK, nothing to do with the uh, economy because they keep saying free trade. We're going to lose free trade, the biggest market that we've got access to, only because we're not allowed to trade anywhere else. Well, the, well, well, the only reason it, <laughs> well, Michael, we're allowed to trade wherever we like. The question is, on what terms can we trade? And the fact is, EU terms. You, you know, the fact is that as EU members, we've been forbidden from making our own trade relationships with other parts of the world. Um, but Michael, what I mean, what about the argument? What about the argument? Well, OK, but actually, if we do end free movement, the economy could fall off a cliff. Do you believe people when they tell you that? I believe we should we should just walk away from it because I know that you know come the eleventh hour things will change. It's, it's any kind of bargaining position. The minute one party walks away and the other party knows they're going to be hurt from the other one walking away, there'll always be a compromise. People that do this day in day out for their jobs every day, you know, from a car dealer to a banker. It's absurd to think that at such an early stage of negotiation, you're going to get a deal that you want. You walk away now, and then you wait, and, you know, 23 months into the two-year period, something will start happening. You didn't frankly have the balls to put country before party.